Hello friends, I am Praveen Verma from India. We have made out this video to demonstrate the effect of high quality gas in mileage gain. In the recent past it has been noticed that availability of chromium in SS electrode is deteriorating the quality of gas. Also it has been suspected that chromium leaches out during electrolysis process and forming substance called hex chrome which is a poisonous substance. Although the testing of availability of hex chrome in electrolyte is yes to a certain. To encounter these two problem we made a special grade uh, material for the purpose of electrolysis. This material we have made in Mr. K.V. Narayana foundry and the specification of this material is very close to cupronickel. Since the specification is close to cupronickel the conductivity of this material is expected to be around 4.6% against 2.3% conductivity of the SS electrode. This is one of the electrode made out from a special grade material. You can see the anode side which is quite clear. On cathode side there is slight black deposit that too after running it for 2 weeks. You can see a, a small 4 mm hole for the gas outlet and a 2 mm hole for the purpose of uh, water filling. We have used EPDM gasket all across which is around 5 mm wide. We have operated the booster made out from this electrode for over 2 weeks and found no discoloration in water. Also when we did the burning test the sound was quite loud with respect to the unconditioned SS booster but when we compared with the conditioned SS booster there was a marginal difference although the sound was loud from uh, the booster made out from this electrode. Sorry I don't have the video to demonstrate the sound during the burning of the gas made out from this booster. There is no deteriorating component available in this electrode. We can assume the booster made out from this electrode is producing high quality gas. Ok guys, we talk lot about the bench testing but we feel Whatever efficient and effective booster we made, if it does not deliver the result in the field, this is of no use. For the same purpose we installed this booster on Tata 207 which is a 3000 cc 6 cylinder inline non turbo diesel engine. We have chosen this vehicle because earlier somewhere in February 2009 we tested two type of SS booster on the same vehicle. So we are having a straight comparison with the uh, SS booster and the booster made out from this special grade material. This vehicle travels a lot per day and we made sure the booster has been tested for over 1000 km. This we did to avoid any mistake from incorrect filling, driver behavior etc. However the condition prevailing in February 2009 while testing the SS booster the same condition has been maintained while we have tested the booster made out from this special grade material. So guys, now let us take a look of uh, mileage gain figure. First we will take the look of SS booster, then with the booster made out from this special grade material. Unboosted mileage of this vehicle between 1st to 10th February 2009 for 1921 km. The unboosted mileage was 9.48 km per liter. We installed MB102 on 13th February and checked the mileage between 13th to 18th February with 1.91 liter per minute of the gas. During this period, we achieved 14.60% mileage gain on this vehicle. The mileage gone gain was was thought to be a 14.63 percent. Again on 18 February 2009, 
we have replaced MB102 with 2x6 series dry cell having 6 inch by 6 inch electrode. This dry cell was having 2 mm water uh, filling holes and gas outlet holes were at 4 mm. During the 18th February to 21st February, the mileage gain which achieved on this vehicle is 16.17% with 2.1 LPM of the gas. We had changed the gas injection point. Earlier it was a before air filter. On 18th February we had changed to after air filter. But did not achieve any major change in the mileage gain. So with both type of SS booster, the overall mileage gain for 1777 km was 15.4%. Here you can notice one interesting thing which we discussed earlier, the driver behavior. You can see the driver Bhaskar has always delivered a good mileage gain with respect to driver Deepak. Now let us analyze the test result of the booster made with special grade metal. The chemical composition of this special grade metal is given at bottom of the page. Since the earlier test was done in February 2009, so this time again we had taken the unboosted mileage which works out to be 9.64 km. But this mileage is again more or less similar to the testing done in February 2009. Since we assumed the quality of the gas is higher. So we have decided to inject around 60% of the gas supplied during SS booster testing. So this time we have injected around 1.23 liter per minute. However, the other condition uh, are maintained. With this, the overall mileage gain was only 5.19%. However, there was some error in fueling on 5th December, which automatically rectified on 6th December. We were intending to test this booster with higher LPM on the same vehicle, but unfortunately that vehicle is not available with us now. So with this, our first observation indicates we may be requiring good quantity of the gas irrespective of the quality of the gas. Although we intend to test this booster on other vehicle where we have already tested the SS booster thoroughly. So friends, thank you for patient hearing. Soon we will be testing this booster on another vehicle and post our results here. Thank you very much.